So chaps, guess what we're doing? I'm going to find some gold. We're just going for a little bit of a picnic down there. Just let me show you. This is where we are. Five minutes from my house. There's a little stream down here. There's not much gold in it. I don't intend to find much. Don't expect to find much. Don't. But it's just a bit of fun. We're going to have a little... Uh, burn some sausages and I'll have a little bit of a play in the river. So here we are. It's a magnificent flowing torrent. And this is our house right here. Is that your house there? Uh -huh. Alright. Yeah, well you did good to build that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a play back in the gravels there. Just where it comes off that straight onto this corner. I've got this little um, Angus McKirk, I've only ever used it twice because I didn't get out at all last year, really. So it's going to be fun to get that going in there. It should be able to, no problem. Which is always a bonus when, when you've got a sluice that size. And that's what I won off Arnie. So Arnie, if you're watching, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. And I'll get down there and see, get some stuff going. Get me wellies on. Survival training. Are you surviving? Yeah, we made a fire. Oh, good. And a house. Yeah. Uh, it's 26 today. You don't need a fire to keep warm, but you need it. It helps keep the mosquitoes away. So that's running in a fashion. I'm just going to put a couple of buckets through and wash it out. Ah, the elusive Swiss Servalar. Freshly hunted. And smacked on the head. Smacked in the head. Made from lips and bum holes. <laughs> but it's good. So, got a couple of buckets. You're pretty much straight down onto um, clay here. I mean, it's same everywhere here. This is like just on the side from Secret River. These woods have got a lot of gold. Well, not a lot of gold in them. They've got gold in them because I know I mentioned it before but a long time ago, but I've got a lot of new subscribers. But there were glaciers come through here and that's they move the gold put it into the ground and whatever runs off ends up in these little streams like i say i'm not expecting very much might find a couple of specks but i'll put them two through see what i've got off that but what i've got is some snuffer bottles home from last year they've all got gold in them and i really need to clean them out <laughs> i haven't i can't even remember where off them are from some are from secret river and some are from nap so there might be quite a bit of gold in them have a look see what we've got later. So buckets still. Uh, I've mentioned this before when I last used it. What I like about that keen of mine is that I've got an SA mat. And if there's not much gold, you do tend to see it. Whereas here I'm not going to see it. The gold should be in that. In them two riffles really. That's where all heavy stuff should drop out. It's got a lovely exchange, you can see the exchange. And you might not be able to. Like it's round and round like that. Light stuff shoots out and gold stuff will stay at the bottom, or heavy stuff will stay at the bottom. Beautiful to clean out though these 
There'll be hardly any panning to do here. So I've only put two buckets in. I usually go for ten. I've never put ten through this. Bank, but there's five tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. Oh, I don't think I'm going to need help carrying them on. But you can see them. I'm sweating. <laughs> but there you go. I'm not doing any more buckets. Free exercises, free exercise, but I don't want to exercise for that. And we've eaten the sausages. And Joel wants to go home, don't you? Yeah. You had enough? Yeah. And I'm not bothered about playing in river for that. If I'd have been an aura, say, I would have had at least... Do it for two buckets, I would have had at least 40 pieces. Maybe a little bit bigger than that, and that size. And secret river is just a case of finding a good spot again. I haven't been down there for ages. Due to leg, neck, back, <laughs> and other debilitating injuries. But that's that. I'll show you what's in them. Uh, I'll show you what's in them other snuffer bottles. If we get to see some gold. So, chaps, as I said, I'll have a look see what I've got in these. You can see how long that's been in there. It's going green water. I've got three. And depending on how much gold there is, it'll depend on what I do with it. If there's enough, I'll dry it. But if there's not, then. Put it, well, I'll put it back in a bottle for a start at first, but you can see look at <laughs> stuff growing in it. Take it all off. So the gold comes out. Put some bleach in them or something. clean that bottle out a bit better. Probably put it all back in that. It's like it's also a secret river. Nice little golden smile eh? At least we get to see some gold today. To a different bottle. And there you go. They've, they've just been sat on the shelf for ages. <laughs> for a year. 
I didn't even know what were in them. I knew they were gold, but I didn't know how much. 